Today I'll be sharing the perfect outdoor play activity as the weather is getting warmer. These are frozen dino eggs and we're going to be rescuing the dinos. So let's get started. First you want to have your miniatures of course. These are dinosaurs. I'll have the link down below. And your balloons. These are not water balloons. These are just regular balloons which I'll put the link down below as well. First you put the dinos in the balloons and I was saying that this wasn't working out the best way for me. I got it in there but it was just problematic trying to get it in there. For the next one, I opened up the balloon and I had my child <laughs> put the dinosaur into the balloon. That worked out better so that may work out better for you. You could probably do it by yourself but it's going to be a struggle because the balloons are small. we've put all our dinosaurs in the balloons to get a bowl i just used this tall um, plastic bottle and i filled it with water i put the balloon on top of it like that and i filled it up fill up your balloon whichever way works best for you you can also search on youtube for videos of how to fill up a balloon with water this is the method i used and it worked well for me Once it's done, you tie to secure. And there it is. Place it in the bowl. Refill the bottle as needed. This is the second go around just showing you. I put it on there and I press the bottom of the bottle to fill it up with water again secure it by tying a knot here our balloons all filled up with water and our dinosaur we're going to put this in the freezer this froze for about 24 hours 24 hours we went outdoors open the balloon using a scissors please don't throw plastic all around you want to put the cut up balloons in the trash dispose of your trash well in the squat bottle I added some salt and water salt helps to melt the ice Ensure that your child has safety goggles on because there will be eyes shreds flying all over the place and you do not want them to get hot. So that's a protective measure. Also, having them wear gloves is going to be helpful so their hands do not get too cold touching the eyes directly. Excavating dinosaurs is a great play activity especially on a hot day. Playing and touching that cool water is refreshing and it occupies your child's time for a while. Here we have our first dinosaur rescued and we proceed to the next one. I have two little hands walking together and the weather was perfect for it because it's really warm outside. It's a perfect family activity. It um, requires teamwork. We just made it fun, nothing too serious. It was just a fun time excavating these dinosaurs and playing with the eyes. Second dinosaur rescued and onto the third. You can see my little one helping his sibling right there to squirt some water. <laughs> this also promoting play amongst siblings. It's a perfect family activity. You can see the gloves being worn there so that the fingers do not get too cold touching the eyes directly. My little one was trying to eat the eyes. <laughs> and we have the last dinosaur being rescued. And there it is. <laughs> this is a fun outdoor activity on a hot day. Hope you give it a try it's very easy to prep and to make thank you for watching bye